Hello, lovely viewers. This is your girl Evie. Welcome to Tasty and Fresh Kitchen, where we prepare tasty meals with fresh ingredients. I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you guys for how far we have come. It's the doing of the Lord and it is so, so marvelous in my eyes. Psalm 118 verse 23. If you are new to my channel, thank you for joining the winning team and welcome. Kindly click on the notification button so that anytime I post a new video, you will be notified. Yes, so you can see today we are preparing some starter soya bean kebab. Yeah, <laughs> vegan friendly dish. Yeah, so these are my ingredients. I have kebab pepper or soya pepper, my spices, some coconut oil from Senum Foods. My skewers, I'll be using normal toothpick. Yeah, I want it to be handy. And then I have some veggies, bell peppers, and onions, and some all purpose flour. Yes, yeah, so I'll be listing all the ingredients in the description box to you. So I just cut the veggies into biteable sizes, like I'm doing here. So depending on the size of your soya chunk or your skewer, you know how to go about it. So my veggies are ready. So I just set them aside and continue with my soya chunk. So I soak the soya chunk in water for like about 5 minutes. So this is the already made soya chunk. Yeah, I'm sure you can get it at the supermarket or your local shops. So after five minutes, I squeeze the water out of the soya bean. Then I season this with my turmeric complete season and my all purple season, all from Tasty and Fresh. And then this is sea salt. So I add a half tablespoon to this. And then my Muslim Plus, that's my blended ginger, garlic, and onion. I add about two tablespoons to it. So yeah, you don't need to over season it because. Our suya pepper or kebab pepper has a bit of salt in it also. So I stir this for it to incorporate into each other. Add about half cup water to it. 
and then straight to the fire for it to boil. So here we are. The aroma coming out. Oh my goodness, friends and family, you need to be here. <laughs> So you can see the turmeric has done the magic we have this beautiful yellowish color here now our soya chunk is ready after just five minutes yeah so i'll squeeze the water out of it again and then i'll allow it to cool down So this is just like meat this is soya beans that oil has been extracted from it so the, the residual product is the soya chunk it is just like meat yes and the papa <laughs> so after cooling down a bit i'll sprinkle some coconut oil over it Then I also sprinkle my all-purpose flour and some little spice for more taste and sweetness just to coat the chunks. Sprinkle a little salt or seasoning over the veggies. I try to try it to taste this and this because my soya chunk is already seasoned and it is well seasoned. So I should cut this for about 3 to 4 minutes. So I just want to enjoy the crunchiness, the natural taste, and the colorful taste of the veggies. So I don't over cook it. Same scallop, I drop additional two tablespoons of coconut oil. Just 
try it a bit. And low medium heat. Yeah, so after it's ready, I'll just transfer into a plate and then start with my arrangements. So I arranged the soya chunks and my veggies on my skewer. That's the toothpick I'm using. Yeah, so you just do it however you want it or any style or design you want it. I just want it very simple and small. I want it handy, so I'm using the toothpick. So I'll do the same for all till I'm done. I'm sorry my camera didn't capture this part very well but I hope you can see it So I'll just sprinkle my suya pepper or kebab pepper for more tastes and just look at how it is beautiful golden brown color luxurious appetizing finger licking <laughs> and the papa so you can just do this coming Easter as a starter as a snack yes and your guests they are going to love it in fact they will be craving for more <laughs> so i mix them well so the the soya pepper will incorporate into the soya chunks but please do it gently so it doesn't remove from the skewers and then i arrange it nicely and serve my guests <laughs> wouldn't you love to try this this festive season just look at that i have complemented it with some sparkling cocktail juice and some kiliwili or fried plantain so please family and friends Join me and my guests as we enjoy ourselves. Try this recipe and send me a comment, okay, guys? Just look at that. It's just like chewing meat. It's sweet. It's flavorful. It's nutritious. 
and it's so beautiful handy as well just pick one and then you are good to go <laughs> i love you guys for your subscription your likes and your comments if you like this video kindly give your girl a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and subscribe if you haven't done that bye bye